Hi, it's me again, Mary and Yugi. Yugi. Today I will try to overcome my greatest fear. Everyone knows that I am afraid to speak in front of many people, especially in English. It doesn't mean that I don't understand English and I can't speak English. Of course I can. But my but it's my noticeable provincial accent that holds me back I don't know if I can make this but I will try the main goal here is just for me to speak English <laughs> so let's try the topic that I'm going to share is from my favorite book from Lighthouse inspirational books and gifts Inspira lighthouse inspiration books and gifts the title of the book is be patient God isn't finished with me yet our quote for today is be glad of life it gives you the chance to love to work and to play and to look up at the sky by Henry Van Dyke when I was a little girl I wanted to become a nun I was inspired by my grandmother who prays rosary two to three times a day all I know was that she talked to God and it sounded pretty cool I also wanted to become a singer because my father and my mother are good singers and all my eight siblings can sing very well except me well i'm a good dancer anyway <laughs> after a year of giving birth to my eldest son a kind couple offered me offered to send me back to school since education is the most accessible and affordable course in our place at that time i grab it no second thought it's not my dream job but at that time it served its purpose question why are you at the job you are right now do you consider it a profession a vocation or merely a necessary thing to help pay the rent or other expenses how does it fit in your lifestyle and beliefs did you accept it based on the possessions of salary and benefits or well it seemed to fit your own god-given talents and interests what is it exactly that gets you up and off to work over 2000 hours a year it's been said that if you love your job, you'll never have to work a day in your life. My personal opinion is that any job, even one you love, will feel like grind on occasion. But if everybody feels that way, it's time for a change. Life's too short to spend it doing something you have no passion for that may mean a change in employment it may mean figuring out how to get the education you need to qualify for the job you want it may mean taking a risk and moving to another part of the country or to another country but it also may mean something even riskier it may mean changing your heart well your job description remains the same colossians 3 verse 23 says that 
we should work at everything we do with our whole heart as if we're working for God instead of people pride greed laziness and apathy may have more to do with our lack of satisfaction at work than a poor job fit. Whatever the reason, it's time to take some action. Work is not just something we do to pay the bills. It's a way to make a positive contribution to our society. It's something that often serves other people and teaches us how to function together as a team. It's an activity that can help us understand our place in the world where we and others can benefit from the unique way God created each of us. Don't let complacency or the hustle and bustle at the work week prevent you from taking a closer look at your job and your attitude toward it. Remember, life is too short to do what you can. If you are watching this video and you can relate to the topic, please subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye!